temporary homeless shelter set to open this evening as the state pulls hotel vouchers for 500 households. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Ike Ben David in for Darren. Vermont Legal Aid has filed a lawsuit to prevent vulnerable Vermonters from being kicked out of hotels. But the state is moving forward with the temporary shelters and we got to look inside today. A building once filled with state employees in downtown Burlington, now empty due to remote work, transforming into an emergency homeless shelter with cots set up just inches apart from each other, many in an open room. We need shelters more than ever, and this is not a homeless a shelter that is set up in a way that is going to help. Mayor Moreau Weinberger toured the facility with city leaders just hours before it opens its doors. The tour deepened my concerns about what the, the state is doing with this facility. These cots are being made available in Burlington and at shelters in Berlin, Rutland and Brattleboro for about 500 households being forced out of the state funded hotel rooms due to the seasonal end of the wintertime adverse weather voucher program. But this buys people more time. Um, we could just do what we've done every year pre-pandemic, which is to do absolutely nothing. The shelters will be open for about a week and only at night. State officials say people using the shelters will be screened to see if they meet the qualifications to get back into a state-funded hotel room under the ongoing general assistance program for families, the elderly, people with disabilities, and health problems. It has to be signed off by a qualified health care provider, so that might take people a little bit of time. These shelters are expected to be a temporary bridge, not long-term. But as communities prepare to help Vermonters in need, they're there's a lot of confusion on the last second rollout in locations that are not built to house people. Seems like a plan that wasn't well thought out, wasn't well researched, and isn't well resourced. Vermont Legal Aid filed a lawsuit Friday to stop the end of the adverse weather vouchers and asked a judge to impose an immediate injunction. We're not asking um, for some massive change. We are asking for a delay in this lifting of the adverse weather conditions uh, period um, while the state does its job and figures out who um, is eligible. Now late today, a judge denied that injunction, so the hotel ev evictions will happen tonight. The state says adverse weather vouchers are still available, but on a night-by-night -night basis. They say this is the way the homeless hotel program operated before the pandemic created a year-round voucher system.